Hey guys, welcome to Gunny Star Talk. I wanted to do a quick tech tip um, on the WorkSharp Ken Onion version with the blade grinding attachment. So when you buy aftermarket belts, some of them are really loose, uh, like these leather ones, they stretch after a while and they get, they get loose and they wanna spin on there. Or sometimes you have belts that are really tight and they wanna spin. And uh, the belts don't spin, but the motor will spin and the belt doesn't move. They start slipping. So just a quick tech tip. If you have a belt that's a little big because it's stretched out. So what I have here is uh, some silicone tape, basically self-adhesive tape. It sticks to itself. It's, it's non-sticky. It's that type of stuff that you see on TV that you seal garden hoses with and things like that. Take this and wrap it around the shaft. Now make sure you wrap it in the right direction for the way this spins. This is gonna spin that way. You don't wanna wrap it in the wrong direction or it'll start coming undone after a while. Comes off really easy. This is fairly inexpensive. So if your belt is is loose or not spinning because your your belt's a little bigger than, than what you want it to be or right at the border of that, then you can take a little more like I did here and put, let's see if I can zoom in, put several wraps around it to make that shaft bigger or thicker to take up some space. Plus the rubber of this catches the belt and helps it to spin. So if you got one that's too tight and it's spinning because of this smooth plastic shaft, putting this silicone on there, now you, if it's too tight, you're only gonna wanna put one wrap around it, otherwise, you're gonna make it eat that much tighter. But by putting that around it, then it gives the belt some traction on rubber to spin, and it doesn't just have the shaft spin and the belt go nowhere. Um, some of the, I think, uh, felt belts will do that, and some of the Scotch-Brite belts will do that. Um, so just a quick tech tip, throw that on there, see if that doesn't help. It has me. I can't say that it'll help everybody. The tolerances of these aren't super tight. So um, where it helps me, it may, may or may not help you, but uh, the few people that I've talked to that I've suggested this, it's helped them. So worth a shot. You can get this at any hardware store, uh, plumbing supply, which, or anything like that. Uh, I don't know what I got in there, but works great. And then if you're using a belt like this, too big, and then you're gonna go to Scotch-Brite or vice versa, you can always wrap more on, or it comes off really easy. Pull it off and, and use it either without it or just one piece around it. Like I said, I built it up on this because I'm out pretty much to the, almost to the max of my extension here, and the belt stretches. So this gives it some traction, so I still get it to spin. Anyways, uh, comment down below. If you guys have better suggestions, then by all means, please leave them. Share your tips. Uh, they're always appreciated. Like, subscribe, I guess I'm supposed to say all that stuff. Uh, honestly, I, subscriptions don't matter a whole lot to me. I, I'm not making any money off this or even trying to i just do this for you guys <clears throat> so like i said share your tech tips if you have some um hopefully this helps some of you i've had a few people contact me and uh ask about this issue and sometimes it's worse with with as they age with the older models um but it's one thing that i've found to be effective for me. Anyways, thanks for watching.